Hey, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Here's a question for you. Have you ever wanted to have your control panel in your right-click context menu here in your desktop? If so, today is your lucky day. We have ourselves a simple registry file. It is per user. We're going to show you how to put it on. We're going to show you how to remove it. And then for those who are still interested, we're going to show you how to edit it so you can tweak it to your own liking. You're going to want to run this by double-clicking it. Uh, you will not need to run as administrator because it is per user. So simply double click it. Get all scared about, oh my god, your window's going to break. It's never going to run again, um, etc. And click yes, and it'll tell you it's okay. Now there it is. Settings. Mixed reality system. So just click. Quick jump. Quick as you want. Settings to whatever you like. Just like that. Settings update security and that's about it now because it's a registry tweak you're gonna need to delete a registry key so you wanna go over to H key current user software classes keep expanding as you go scroll down past the short letters so you get to desktop background this wasn't here before so that's why I know it's no harm and down to settings when you come to settings simply right click that key and delete it, click OK, close it, and hey, it worked. It's awesome when that works out that way. And there you go. So that's about it. That's how you put it on. That's how you put it off. If you'd like to see how to tweak it a little bit, I will show you that now. Otherwise, click subscribe and get out of here. And the rest of you, here we go. As you know, it's a reg file. You saw that, REG. You're going to remove the .reg, change it to TXT for text file. Another scary warning. And open it. Now that it's open, the first thing you see here is position equals middle, depending on where it's going to pop up. So you can try top, or you can try, I forgot what the other one was, middle, top, bottom. So once you've done that, it's a good idea to keep this open with this key, because you can always come back, test it, delete that key, come back until you're done. Now if you want to get a little more complicated, you could change the order they're in, but it's a little more difficult. Uh, if you're familiar with editing, basic registry editing, or even text file, not too complicated. But here's what you got. As you can see, everything is in order. 01010202. So if you wanted to change their order, you could, but you'd have to change everything. And it's, it's a bit of an annoyance, but what we're going to do with this one is we're going to remove Cortana out of here. So a lot of people don't like it. So let's take Cortana out by deleting those two lines. As you can see, Cortana, Cortana. Delete it. Get everything back to one line. So now the problem you got is it's going to end up showing a blank space in here if I run it. I'm not going to go through the whole thing to show you, but it'll basically have a, a blank line that's useless. So take your 11 or your 12, turn it to 11. The mouse is in no mood to play with me today for some reason. 11, 10, 11, 12, and again, just to give you an idea, and 14 becomes 13, and we're out of here. So there you go. So now you can save it, and then switch it back to a reg file, and you won't have the Cortana setting in there. So once again, don't forget, you know, if you've got something you really, really like, it might be worth the time in the long run. Maybe not. I don't know. It's kind of the hard way to do it. So click close, click save. And just make sure, yeah, it's not working. So let's do uh, back to dot reg. And let's run it again. Put it back in. And if I didn't screw it up, God, I hope I didn't. Here's settings. And Cortana, which was here, is now gone. So that's kind of neat. Like I said, if you, somebody, you use, uh, you know, you can figure it out. You use your privacy a lot. You can rearrange it so it becomes at the top. But just simple ways to kind of make it your own. So there you go. I like it a lot. It saves me a little bit of time. It's great for you. It's great for text. It's great for people who have to work on somebody's computer all the time. Or How do I get to privacy? Yeah, right click, settings, privacy. Stop calling me. There you go. All right. I'm glad you made it to the end. As always, thank you for watching. Please click subscribe. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next time.